The fuel property analysis can be performed for any stream under the analysis tab by going to add analysis and choosing the fuel, fuel properties analysis. Let's look at the table that that generates for us here if I solve that. First off we need to choose which phase we're looking at. So right now we're looking at the total phase but if you had a vapor liquid mixture you could choose to look at just one phase. And then all these calculations are going to be based off of that phase. All these calculations use different correlations for us. So you can see things like the cetane index is calculated and there's a couple different correlations that we can choose from. This is a great place to remind ourselves that if we're ever not sure of the definition of a property such as the flash point, we can always right click on those properties and choose what's this and Promax will give us a definition uh, here in writing and so we can remind ourselves what these mean. Continuing down the list, beyond our flash point, we have our aniline point. Viscosity is at 100 degrees Fahrenheit and at 210 degrees Fahrenheit. Our specific gravity and API gravity are calculated at 60 degrees Fahrenheit compared to 60 degrees for water. We also have a correlation to calculate the paraffinic, naphthenic, and aromatic mole fractions in our stream. So you see that correlation here and their percentages are broken down for us. Next property that we see is our research octane number. We have a pore point that's calculated for us. Refractive index and Watson K value is also calculated. Next we'll see our kinematic viscosity at 40 degrees Celsius. And we also have a carbon to hydrogen weight ratio. Next on our list are some cut points and so part of a distillation curve is calculated for us here. We'll see our 10%, 50%, and 90% cut points. And so in this case, we have a diesel, and those cut points are often what you're looking at when defining your product. We also have a smoke point and cloud point that are calculated for us. And at the very bottom of this list, we have some thresholds that we can control in order to determine which components are going to be looked at when doing these cut point distillation curve properties. So this minimum normal boiling point threshold, the default is zero Kelvin, and so essentially any component is currently available, but if we were to set this as a higher temperature, any component with a normal boiling point below that temperature would no longer be included in our cut point calculations. Similarly, we have a minimum mole fraction threshold and so any component with a mole fraction below this threshold will also be ignored in our calculations and you can edit that number as well. Now there's a second tab involved here for our fuel properties, this components tab. Here we can select all the components that we want to look at and so we see we have some light components and then our curve oil that we've created in this simulation by default, the component subset is a dry basis, meaning that every component is selected except for water is ignored. You could go through and manually change which components are included, or you could look through this drop-down list and choose from here which type of components you want to take into account when calculating these fuel properties. And so this is what goes into our fuel property analysis.